I saw a sign that said shark sighted. There was a uh, shark incident here with a great white. It's something that we try not to think about. We know it's there, kind of the mystery of the coast, and also what makes it that much more thrilling. I'm Steve Vasquez, and I'm traveling the country to find adventures anyone can get to. This is Uprox GPS. I'm a Californian who can't surf, so I'm traveling up to Oregon to meet an expert who says that he can help me out. Here's the kicker. It has some of the coldest, most shark-infested waters around. Only an hour and a half outside Portland, where Al Siski, my guide for the day, says he can give me a crash course in surfing. Al is the owner of Enemy Surf, and he's been surfing these waters for the past 13 years, all while shaping boards for some of the world's top surfers. Making surfboards in a big city just didn't seem realistic for me. In order to like harness the energy of shaping, you need to harness the energy of the ocean. Anything that takes time away from that, I'm just not interested in it. How do we get started, man? Well, we'll get you dialed on, uh, we got a bunch of boards, but I think we're gonna start you out on, uh, on this, it's a 9-0 uh, longboard. This is kind of the go-to learning how to surf. Yeah, the longer it is, the less strokes you need to get into waves. We we'll load this bad boy up. I got everything we need so we can uh, lock it up, and hit the road. We pulled up to Nyakami Point, a quick drive outside of Portland, and it feels like a different planet. Look at this, man. Yeah. It's like even if I know exactly what the forecast is doing, I still want to come up here and look at this every single time I come up here. <laughs> Man, this is gorgeous. But what's next? Uh, next, we're gonna be rolling into Cannon Beach, which is a couple miles up uh, North 101. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous. Surfing's always been kind of like, a bit of an intimidating sport. You know, a few things you wanna just kind of keep in mind. Where's your board at at all times? Always be aware of your surroundings, man. Never turn your back on the ocean. This is crazy how quickly you can get out of the city, get to a place like this. Put it this way, if you're in Portland, you're looking for a quick way to get out of town and relieve some stress, this is like one of the most sought after places to, to go to, right. hands down. The tranquility, the solidarity, right. the, the peacefulness at the coast is like unparalleled to anything else you can find. Let's do it. Doesn't look the best, but you know, these are the conditions I learned in. Uh, whitewash has got a little bit of power to it, so it allows you to kind of get to your feet pretty quick. Do you think I'll be able to stand up? I, I do. Yeah. I mean, with a, with a longboard, it makes things a lot easier, for sure. Yeah. I got faith in you. Kind of just jump on the board, mm -hmm. paddle, it takes you. As soon as you feel it take you, you just want to pop up, get to your feet as fast as you can, and just ride as long as you can. You caught one, bro. Dude. That was sick. Dude. That's crazy. That's all it takes is like a couple of good efforts, bro, and you got it. You know? Dude. Woo! Dude, that felt so good, man. You know? Be out there just like getting crashed. Yeah, and crashed the ocean's and crashed, amazing, man. man. Just being able to get up, man. Cells cures cool. all wounds, you Dude. know? A quick drive outside of Portland, completely outside of my element, and headfirst into someone else's world. <laughs> 